Hey Aquarius, welcome back to the Alice Illuminator. We are going to do your he said, she said spread. So let's see what the messages are. Oh, this is this is very interesting because I'm having the star here with the five of wands and I can remember your last bonus reading that I did live where we were talking about that conflict and about healing that conflict. So very crazy that those two cards came up. It just definitely reminded me of your bonus reading so let's see what we got going on there's definitely a lot of healing that is coming in but i can also understand that as saturn is uh, conjecting you right now not you it's special but conjecting right now it can cause for a lot of friction all right it can cause for a lot of term oil and that's perhaps what you are experiencing see still we have the five of wands um, I've, this is the sixth sign that I'm doing and this is the first time that the five of wands even showed up in any of the readings. So definitely the conflict that we were talking about in that last bonus reading is very accurate. Seven of wands reversed with the king of cups coming out. All right, there is some type of distance and I feel like there has been a divine intervention coming in between you and someone that you really love with the King of Cups there. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got the tower at the bottom of the deck. We've got the moon, another water sign, Cancer or Pisces. We got the nine of cups reversed. We got the four of pentacles reversed in your blockage. And we've got the temperance in your blockage. As your hopes, we've got the six of cups reversed. We've got the page of swords. We've got the will of fortune. We've got the king of pentacles in the reverse for your outside influence. We've got the two of wands reversed. And we've got the lover's card reversed. Outcome is the ten of pentacles reversed strength card reverse and the eight of cups well this is this is definitely a straightforward story again i am being pulled back to that reading that i did where you either had to agree to disagree or there is like a partnering in in your ways in regards to this relationship i do feel like you you've given it a lot like you've tried you've 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 struggled it was a challenge and no matter what you did, you may have felt like your, your defenses were, were crumbling. Like you, you did not have anything left to fight for, right? Because the Seven of Wands is usually a card of having your defenses up, but also having the, how, how do I explain it? Like having, having a lot of arguments with people and, and trying to push them out, right? But when it comes in the reverse, it's kind of like, uh, Never mind. I don't want to get into that energy. I, I'd rather just protect my own energy type of uh, energy is here. And I feel like a lot of things have been unspoken here. There is definitely a cycle that is filled with a lot of secrets, with a lot of... I, I wanted to say manipulation. I'm not seeing it in your spread. However, I do sense that there has been a... A form of manipulation, a form of trickery, or a form of making you believe something or making you believe that there was something, whereas there wasn't, or the other way around, right? So there is someone here that has been changing, changing the information, changing some type of scenario. <sighs> That's really what I'm picking up on. So I don't know how that relates to, to your energy, but... Yeah, with the Nine of Cups here being in reverse, it doesn't seem to make you or give you any type of fulfillment. Like there is just too much either jealousy coming from this other person or there's a lot of possessiveness. There's a lot of controlling nature that is just suffocating, right? Like it's it's just not making you happy. You, you did not wish for this, right? Like there was something in this situation that you just did not wish for, right? And sometimes they say like, be careful what you wish for, right? So maybe you, you had another 
like you had another imagination in your head in, in in terms of this relationship but it did not come into fruition and now you have a lot of struggle with letting things go and at the same time trying to uh, be be faithful in the situation and trusting that everything will happen in divine timing right there is this fine line between letting things go and still maintaining hope in a way which can be our worst enemy which can also block us in our progress moving forward so hmm coming to your person though aquarius like i said you're definitely dealing with someone that is overly controlling that those doesn't always show you that they care for you and i feel like you you've had it you you don't want to guess you don't want to second guess whether someone cares for you or not i feel like you're you are aware that this person is trying to avoid making any type of decision in love they're definitely avoiding any type of decision to 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 you know express themselves or to be in a more compassionate loving energy so there's definitely a huge shift that that needs to happen and i feel like the only change that you can do is to you know walk away from a situation that is not longer fulfilling you with the tower being in reverse instead of like repeating the same cycle and trying to rebuild on that faulty foundation it's like you have to start from scratch all right, because someone in this situation does not want to change or is not changing their ways and is acting as if as, as if it's not necessary. Ooh. And I do feel like you are ready. You you are ready. You're ready to release the past. I feel like you've had a lot of bad memories build up right now with this individual and i do see you being open for new energies being open for a change in your life and the more you get open for that change the more spirit will actually align that with you with your path you got the temperance card on their end in the reverse so this is someone that could be a sagittarian that could be someone that is quite off balance that do not have a lot a lot of patience they could have a lot of frustration or even anger they are not really balanced within themselves they don't they have a very high temper here here we have the star reversed okay yeah this is definitely someone that has gone through a hurtful situation in their life and because of this pain that they haven't healed they they're lashing a lot upon you right they're seeing you as some type of you know they, they like to lash things out on you is what i what i receive from spirit i've got the devil i mean i'm telling you i'm telling you this whole reading makes sense definitely with that devil coming out Three of Cups could be connected with a third party, all right, with someone else involved. They could be connected to a Sagittarian. They could be connecting to a Cancer or a Pisces here. Nine of Wands reversed. Hermit in their blockage. Eight of Wands in their blockage. Eight of Swords in their hopes. Two of Swords reversed. And the Nine of Cups reversed. This person does not feel like they can make you happy because this person is, you know, distorted in their own energy at this point. I'm just going to be real frank and honest with you. They have a lot of toxicities. They, um, they have a lot of people in their surrounding that they're trying to seduce in order to have a good time with. This is someone that has a lot of addictions, that has a lot of obsession, controlling issues. This is someone that is not ready to fulfill you because they have not found yet anything that is fulfilling them in a sense. This is not someone that that is in alignment with their soul path, with their truth, with their emotions, with what it is that they desire of life. They have a lot of 
lack mentality and internally they they really eat themselves up because they are trying to figure out what they need to change but they don't like to see the fact that them trying to be engaged with so many people or being addictive or having some type of yeah definitely some type of addiction issue is the issue itself you get my point this is someone that is in a victimhood mentality and is not aware of their own toxic behaviors and when people are not aware of them there's not much that you can do to make them aware they, they need to go through a judgment they need to go through through that awakening all right their outside influence is the king of source reverse which i do feel like is your energy here that this is you being very cold very detached very uh, intolerant with their behavior and at this point I feel like you're cutting them out because you're the one walking away because there is a lack of commitment here and this person is you know draining you with the strength card in the reverse seven of cups reversed queen of cups yeah this is this is you focusing on yourself this is you choosing your own sanity and your own love and your own cup towards yourself over trying to fulfill their cup because this person is not to be fulfilled emotionally because they don't even know what they want if they don't know what they want out of love or out of a relationship how the hell are you going to be satisfying them you can't like this person is you can't satisfy this individual i'm telling you and that's why you're walking away. King of Swords, Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. I, I feel like there is definitely an ending coming here. This person needs to come into harmony within themselves and first and for almost get rid of their toxic behavior of being involved with third party situations. Even if it's not third party situation, this could this could be someone that is drinking. This is someone that is not telling you what you need to hear, not telling you what you, you know, letting you guess, letting you always wonder what, what they're up to and just not being there to fulfill your needs. And it's, it's, it's a very straightforward reading that I can't even turn it upside down for you even if I wanted to because I feel like you've made your choice, you've made your decision here. And this person may be trying to come back around and rush in and surprise you and say something sweet. But whenever they open up a little bit, they run away and they, they make you feel like you, you know, they hurt you as, as, as every time they walk away, they keep on hurting you. So again, with the Ten of Swords... And the tower being here, this, this could be quite a painful separation that you are about to face, my dear Aquarius. Why are these readings for Aquarius always this heavy? I mean, these are, these are the Aquarians that I am reading for, I guess, because the, the, the message does not change for you. It does, not, it does not change. It just keeps on repeating that you are at odds with someone. <laughs> Wait. Look at this. Creator of air, which you are, right? And then we have the nourish the sacred feminine. So it's really... You need to nourish yourself, whether you're masculine or a feminine, you need to be receptive. You need to focus on yourself, feeling yourself as, treating yourself as sacred and just taking that time inwards, taking the time to fulfill your own needs because this person is not fulfilling your needs. I'm, I'm just, I'm just there to tell you. Right, they, they, they don't talk about their needs, they don't talk about how they can make you happy because it's, it's not of their concern and I don't want to be harsh on you 
but th that is what this person's energy is giving to me and i feel like it's time for you to you know focus on your fierce serenity so being fierce being bold being courageous and just stepping out in the unknown and stepping out into new connections here and stick the stuck so you're definitely stuck with this individual in a tower that is just not fixable by one person it needs to come from both ends all right aquarius who i'm so sorry to even have this reading uh with you guys believe me i do not feel you know happy every time i have to but i know that there are people out there that need to hear this message and you know who you are and i'm happy to have found you and you to found me i am going to continue this reading on the extended so if this resonates for you you can follow me for more divine guidance and i catch you guys soon bye